Hello everybody, this is Nick speaking. Welcome to Planet Coaster! Yes, this is going to be a new game on the channel, at least for a little bit here. It's a more of a first look at the game than anything else, but yeah, really excited to get into this, because yeah, it's definitely one of these games that I've been looking forward to for a long time, and I think we're going to go here to the Forest Sandbox Park. It gives us a little bit of a terrain differences and gives us something to go for, so yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter um, game that we're going to have on the channel, just because there's not really too much going on yet. There's just a few rides, scenery, buildings, got some paths, but I've noticed it's already kind of like even though there's not much in the game just yet, there's still quite a bit you can do with it. And wow, this parkland, I don't know how well you can see the stripes, but this is the corner of the park. And you can tell this park is pretty big. If I mean, just this size alone is actually pretty good for a park to build in. And I think it's going to be something I enjoy doing, so... Yeah, and of course we've got our coming soon thing that we really don't need anymore, so, because it's here. It doesn't need to be coming soon, the park's here. Yeah, so, I think it makes the most sense we just start off with a little bit of a path here, maybe, yeah, we'll go nine, and I want to put angle snap on just so we can get a little bit of a path going here, and I think just kind of a straightish path here for the beginning. Maybe we curve off a little bit that way and yeah, just kind of do some interesting stuff with the paths here. And Let's see. Maybe we curve a little bit that way. Alright. So we'll start with that kind of to be our main path here and then I can think about maybe putting off a different area off to the one side over here? Yeah, that would be kind of a good idea. So right now we only have two themes in the game. We have the default theme, which is kind of all this kind of modern stuff, kind of like we have the entrance here, and entrance looks kind of cool. I like this for a building. Just kind of the people in the park and all of that, and then we have the um, pirate theme, which, yeah, it's an interesting theme. I like the idea of it. I don't know how well it's going to probably not be my favorite, but yeah, I've a lot of it too, like, hey, you can put trees into the ground as bushes, or and see, there's a lot of stuff like that too that you can just do that's very interesting with all of this, so. It's kind of why I think it's going to be a pretty good game, and we might as well start by maybe putting down a ride over here, just maybe sort of generic one. Um, sure, let's put our giant drop tower right here at the front of the park. So I think we just kind of nestle it right in here, kind of around where the whole path is going to curve around. I think that's actually a good spot for it, and let's see. I think we'll put the entrance kind of over here on this side, and then I'll put the exit maybe off over here somewhere. Can we get this to line up perfectly? Uh, yeah, right there. That looks good for the spot. And let's see, Q, which one? Do you want this one? The blue one, or do we want the brick one? Uh, I think the blue one I like a little bit better, so we'll go with that. And yeah, it's basically... We're just going to be building a little bit of a theme park here, and... Hopefully everything turns out alright, so... I'm thinking we'll go maybe off this way a little bit with the Q, and... And I can just, yeah, we'll just kind of curve things around here and, yeah, maybe just kind of like that. Then we need to make sure this can go back on itself, too. That's the other interesting part of all of this, is we need to make sure this 
actually makes sense. And sure, maybe we make this kind of long curve here. And we can put our ticket booth over here. Rotate that a little bit. Um, we need to hit the right button to rotate. And let's see what I get a good angle here. And kind of right about. Mm, you know, I think we need one more. Let's see. Yeah, we'll kind of just put it right there, and that's going to be kind of our first ride here in the park. Going to open it now. And we can even put, like, maybe a little bit of building around all of this. Maybe we'll just do this as kind of our generic theme area, just so we can experiment with that a little bit. And just, you know, put a little bit of a building around all of this. So, alright. Let's see. That can go there, that can go down to there. And yes, I'm kind of putting this kind of a little bit off to the side of the grid rather than directly on it, just so we can get a little bit of a variation in here. And oh, not sure about that one. Oh, I kind of like that detail a little bit though there. If the we put a roof on. Yeah, that looks kind of interesting. Yeah, mostly we just want to do some interesting stuff with all of the roof here, and... Let's see, if we maybe brought that up here, and we did something like that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of playing into the theme of stuff that's already present, so... Yeah, I think that'll be kind of an interesting sort of beginning for all of this, and let's see. Go back to walls here, and let's see about getting walls onto all of this. Not there, though, because that's sticking out, and that's not what we want. Let's put you in there, and down, and this one can go into here, and let's see. Hmm. like this building so far. Just kind of a small sort of... And then we put one into here. Alright, so we got kind of our base here going, and I'm thinking in this little detail again, if we put that down in here, like that, ooh. Alright, that works for us. Got the roof kind of in. Let's see. Oh, let's go back into editing this, and... Hmm. Yeah, we've got people coming into the park. Lots of people already. Wow. So we got a good ride going here. And let's just kind of put some trim on here. And let's see. Ooh. Do you want to do something like that and maybe bring those pillars down? Yeah, that would look kind of cool, I think. So we just kind of go here. And... Yeah, I like that. Then we can kind of do the same sort of design here on the back. And I'm also going to do the same over here then. Just so we can kind of mirror that effect a little bit. And... Let's see what you look like. Alright, so we've got this going on. Let's see, and boom, boom. 
and do the thing on this side. Alright, let's put up a sign here. Wall signs. And let's see, what are you called again? I think it's called Screaminator, right? Where is the sign? You can always use a generic sign too if you can't find it. So... There we go. And... Yeah! There we go. So that's kind of like our building for this ride. That's our entrance. We got a little bit of a line going back here already. Actually kind of filling up too, so... That works out pretty well for us. And... Let's see... How adding other stuff to this building. Maybe... Put in some... Oh. Let's go back into editing the building. Yeah, that looks kind of good. I like that. Um, and if I can bring that up to here, maybe. Yeah, that works. And let's put our roof molding back on here. Because that'll be nice to have. And... I need the Oh, that's... Actually, that looks kind of good for these corners. Kind of make it extend up above the roof line, and... Let's see. We also got this one kind of down here on the ground, too, that we need to worry about. And even this trim here. That one in the front? No, it's not. Okay, so we want to do the one without that little detail on it. And let's bring this detail down in and see you would be the roof molding corner. Boom, 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 boom. Put one there, put one there. Up on. Nope, not that one. We'll have to delete that and. There we go, so we'll just have some... Yeah, it looks kind of like a basic building, but... It's kind of interesting. It draws a little bit of attention to itself, and... Maybe we could do some... Isn't there another more of these? I could have thought there were more than just those two. Wait, does it change? Based on the direct. No, it doesn't change based on the direction. It just looks different because it's a different perspective on it. Ah. So we could do some. No, I don't think that looks that great for here. And I deleted a wall by accident, so let's fix that. Alright. And. Now, this little trick can get the grid a little bit smaller here by doing that, and almost thinking it maybe we extend this building back this way a little bit? Over off to this side? Yeah, let me just kind of give this a little sort of side room over here as well. Kind of parallel ourselves a little bit, and sure, we can just do a flat roof on this side. Alright, so let's see what this ends up looking like. I'm gonna do the same sort of detail on this that we've done on the rest of the building. And one on the front, and we'll do one back here, and we actually need one over here on this side as well. Alright, so then we have the columns, which get to go in the corners. I think even that one makes sense do the quarter column on top of all of these, and then we've got the old square molding on the corners for the, these spots as well, and lower that one down there, lower this one down here, and even we can put like some decorations on here, like, I think there's some, uh, there is it, some air conditioner units, maybe we can... Put a few of those on the roof here. Let's 
except for we don't want rotation snap, because we want to make these kind of line up to the grid a little bit. So we'll put one there, one here in front. Yeah, they look fine there, and... Add maybe a few lights. Do you want these kind of... Oh. Those kind of lights would be interesting. We'll do one over there, we'll do one over here. Oh, and then we can... Oh, we can cast them downward, too. Oh. Turn back off the rotation snap. We want this to go straight down. And if we... Okay, that's not the axis I thought it would be along, but okay. So maybe put one there. Put maybe one up here. And put one down here. And maybe even one up here. There we go. Get a little bit of a detail to this building, and... Ooh. Ooh. One dual bright. Yeah, I think we do something like that even. Maybe we can put another one over here that's a yellow. Is it possible for us to. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit harder to position this one. Only because of where it's located, but. Wow. And then if. Only that could be angled a little bit better. That would look so good. And then even inside of here, maybe we can think about... Huh. We wanted to do these maybe for... Ooh, that would be an interesting detail about that. If we put these maybe vertically next to the door. Alright, so then we get a little bit of light inside of here. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a building meant to be sort of the entrance way and does what it's supposed to do well, so I like that. And let's just kind of decorate the, out the front out here a little bit. If I can actually grab some of these, maybe. Here, maybe not that one. Alright, so... And yeah, then we can just kind of come in here and add little details, maybe... Uh, where is that tree that was being used over there? Was it... That was one of these. Lower down into the ground, and I think it's this one. Lower down into the ground, it looks kind of like a bush. Nope, it's this, definitely this last one here. Yeah, we can kind of just give ourselves a little bit of detail as far as scenery goes. And let's see, maybe we put a few rose bushes in here. Put one of the rhododendrons maybe back here. Do a little bit more with the back part here. If we can add like some rocks here along the path. Uh huh. I like this. Ooh. We do this one kind of here. Down a little bit for Nah, I think that's actually kind of good for rocks. Maybe one here, just to kind of give ourselves a little bit to something to look at there. But yeah, that kind of just gets us a little bit of a detail around here. Maybe we can, can we put maybe like a tree in, 
Yeah, we'll put like a tree maybe over here and like put maybe a smaller tree over on this side. Gives a little shade for this area and I think we just kind of cover this up with a few um, small bushes and we can call this area more or less our first sort of area to start off the park here and Yeah, I like that too. Maybe we can put some of the some of these guys maybe around here. And hello, camera, where are you going? Yeah, that works out pretty well. Now, only if I can get detail into this little area through here. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe some of these bu barrel bush things. And we can do maybe one here in the middle. Yeah, that looks good. And I think that's all the more we're gonna have in here though, just because of where all this stuff's located, so. Yeah, I like that, and let's maybe put one of these over the path. Maybe a small one. All right. Yeah, it's not meant to be parallel if you look really closely. So yeah, that's just kind of going to be our sort of start off area and we'll obviously expand out from here and I think that might actually be all we do. No, that doesn't feel like it's long enough. I think we maybe go in and we build something else here, too. Maybe we can get a shop in or something. Mm. Yeah, let's just decorate the area around the outside of this, so... Uh, Nah, I think we actually probably are at a good stopping point for this one. Maybe we just kind of put in a few of these billboard signs over here just to kind of be like, Hey, this is stuff you're going to encounter in the park. But I think we need to do something a little bit different here to do that. So, or do we have them in Yes, we have them in here. So I'm thinking... We say go like this. Put you over here. Take you maybe put you over here. And one more. Although that sign doesn't make as much sense. Maybe that one. There we go. So just to kinda sort of be like, hey, this is kinda like the entrance to this area. Here's what's gonna go on, and can we get... Oh, that sign's way too big. I was gonna see if maybe I could fit a small sign, but um, that's not really a small sign now, is it? Now, this sign makes sense. Maybe we can... Ooh, that's an idea. Okay. Got a little bit of an idea here. So, let's disconnect the path really quickly. I'm going to pause the game. Which, surprisingly for me, is hiding behind the whole um, area where I actually go in and for what I use for my recording stuff that's literally right in the way of what I can see, of where I look to see when I'm recording and when I don't, so that's kind of interesting. And let's see, so... We need to 
take this maybe about there. And we'll do one there. We'll go two. 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 And then we can kind of do the same over here. And kind of like that. Uh, it's not quite a circle, though. We need to go one straight, and then I think if we were to say curve from here, then I think we'd be good. So we'll take this one further back just so we can. I'm going to... Okay. There we go, that's what I want. And then if we go back up to the full size here. Now, is it possible? F yeah, it looks kind of weird once you connect it in, doesn't it? That's kind of what I was afraid of. Okay, so... There we go, that's more of what I wanted. Alright, so let's bring you back up. The size we want you. There we go. So yeah, we get kind of a... Yeah, I like that little bit of a detail there, and we can unpause the game. And yeah, I just remembered what the shortcut key was for that, so... I'm thinking I kind of want to do this kind of sign here. Or maybe we... Hmm. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that looks kind of cool. We'll do that. Maybe we can then maybe think about just putting some, like, bushes down below this and around it. Yeah, I think this is gonna... Yeah, kind of our entrance area into the park and... Makes sense to do this kind of stuff, so... Let's do it, and maybe we can... Bring this up, maybe we can... You know what, even bring this down, get some larger bushes in here, and... That's not the key I even wanted, so... Boom, bring this back up. Bring it back down a little bit, right about there. Yeah, that looks good. And maybe we can think about... Putting some actual trees in behind this sign. Not on top of it, behind it. And maybe one more back in there. Oh. Eh, that one? No. Because that's one we already have. Alright, so. You know what? No, we'll just do those two on the sides. And maybe we can put, like, some of this lower 
foliage out here in front. And that way we can make the sign area look kind of nice. And this is this is definitely looks like one of the few planned areas here. So we just kind of rotate this around, make it fill this area in, and one more right here up front. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe we'll just do a little bit here and back to just kind of make it look like it continues under the sign. Oh yeah, I like that. And then we can... Then I, I don't know, do we leave this area in the back blank, or do we... Add, we can add some of these guys to the back, maybe. Put a few right here under the tree. Or under both trees, maybe, even. Put one maybe over here, if I can get to go in, and one more back here. Yeah, so we get a little bit of a detail in here, and... For some prop, maybe we put like a fountain back here or something, if it'll let us. Let's just do a fountain, and we'll do a fountain back here. And let's fountain tops. Hmm. something that looks good here. That makes sense as well. That almost looks like it's too tall. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, we'll just leave it out for now. Um, but yeah, I think that's actually gonna be all the time we have for this episode. So let's take a ride on our first ride really quickly before we go. And we got some interesting music going on here too. We are in the oh, cinematic camera. We can take a view directly from the seat itself, or we can look right at our the people who are on the ride, so. And yeah, there's different, we can do different seats and see different stuff, and yeah, we'll stay with this one for a little bit. And we're at the top, and time to drop. go. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!